Well, hi guys. Guess what? I'm back out in the woods. And behind me there is my 2008 Dodge 1500. It's a Hemi. It's a four-door. It gets the job done. We've got about a 20-foot trailer that we tow. So we like getting out in the woods once in a while. It's kind of fun. My daughter's here. She's got her 2000-something-something Toyota pickup. And, uh... We're camping for the weekend. So yeah, so I'll give you a shout out, let you know what's going on here. We're in a park again. A lot of camp cooking going on today and this weekend. So we're having fun. We're just having, enjoying ourselves out here in the woods and playing and goofing off and enjoying the cool weather. Because it's been hot. And you already know that if you live in Oregon or maybe the whole west coast. But uh, very hot, 115 I think it was the hottest day, and then we had days that were 100. I think about three or four in a row. About burned us up. Couldn't wait to go camping. We had a week scheduled, and we pulled it off. So, uh, been out here along the river, enjoying the trees, enjoying the scenery, and the cool air, most of all. Um, I told my wife when I got here, it felt like we were at 64 degrees, and it was air conditioning going on here. So, quite a beautiful spot that we've had over the weekend. So. Just want to touch base with you there a little bit and show off our trees here out in the woods. So, we'll get back to you. There we go. Okay, everybody, here's Michael LaRue. He is going to do a burn test. We got uh, one on the right here is the moss fire, no hand sanitizer. The one on the left is the lint, no hand sanitizer. So, Michael, light the moss. Let's see what happens. He's got a butane torch going here. We figured if, uh, oh, you got her going. Start that. Why don't you go ahead and start the lint one? Let's see what happens with that if you just light it. Looks like it lit good. Definitely caught quicker. Yeah. How's the moss doing? Is it out? It is out. Oh, you got him? There you yeah, got I got him. it again. Okay. So I'm going to huck you the hand sanitizer. You might want to just put some of that on the moss. There you go. Good. And I want you to do the lint as well. There you go. Good. Now watch them grow. We have found with the hand sanitizer, it makes a huge improvement on starting your little campfire. So if you're out and it was damp, wet, cold, I, I think the lint kind of wins, obviously. The moss is struggling, ain't it? It is a little bit. I mean, it's on the back here. It's still burning. But okay, it's why don't you give, give the moss a little more hand sanitizer, would you? Let's just see if that don't help it out. And kind of get on top of the wood there a little bit, too, because... Oh, it's catching it. Oh, yeah. There we go. There you go. We want to do a little side-by-side -side test just to see what happens. Because we haven't done this before, either. Save that dryer lint. Yeah, that dryer lint seems to work pretty darn good. Not that the moss doesn't work, it just doesn't burn as well. But see, even with the lint and the hand sanitizer, huge improvement. I mean, you'd be eating hot dogs by now. Absolutely. I mean, so if I had my choice, 
I'm kind of liking that dryer lamp. Me too. It's okay, Michael, I'm going to let you stomp them out, mister. You get the honors today. There you go. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, and then what do we do after we do this, Michael? Is this the time we put the water on? I would say so. Yes, I would say so too. So remember, folks, Smokey the Bear says only you, you can prevent forest fires. That's correct. Click that notification bell icon, like, and subscribe. Gibberish going on. <clears throat> the magic is in the pan. Now we can see all that goodness scrambled with meat. A noisy dog. <laughs> Now, if you think that juice is blood, it's not. That is, that is some of the grease or whatever it is that comes out of the meat. Maybe a little of the whiskey there flavor still on the platter, but they're sure going to be good. Now, these puffed up guys, there's uh, an onion. We have onion in one and, and then carrot in the other. Lots of butter. Let them cook over the old fire and see how that bag's puffing up. They are getting just ready to eat. Here we go.
Look at that geyser, would you? It's bubbling down there, that water. This fire pit been burning for five straight days. And we put three to four gallons of water in there. Boy, I tell you what, she is hot. So that just goes to show you, just because you put water in a fire pit, like a half a gallon, and you think you put that fire out, you did not. So make sure you use plenty of water and get that fire out, would you? For everybody's safety's sake. Thank you. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed my video today. You know, we went camping, did a lot of cooking on the old campfire. Did use my uh, Dutch oven to make some biscuits. I know I showed that in a previous video. But, uh, you know, you live and you learn. So, sometimes you have to do it to find out what works and what don't work. And the biscuits were all edible. We ate them. We did get them a little hot on the bottom, but they weren't burnt so bad that you couldn't take a, a knife, a butter knife, and just scrape that black off if it bothered you, which Mia did not. Uh, for my wife, of course, I, I scraped the bottom off, and she was happy with that. They were great. So lesson learned. Um, maybe not so, so much heat on the bottom. Get it off a little quicker, and then just maybe cook the top with a charcoal a little longer. So we'll do that next time lesson learned. Okay, moving on. My steaks that I cooked. I used uh, Jack Daniels. Barrel Select. Um, very good bourbon. Uh, did a frying pan, a 14 inch frying pan, which was my uh, camp chef, with the lid. I didn't really use the lid though. Uh, I thought I might need to, but I didn't. What I did is I seared the steaks first in the bourbon with a little bit of canola oil. So I kind of seared both sides. When I got that done, I quickly seared them on both sides. I moved them to the fire. I moved them off to indirect heat. Didn't want over the flame. I kind of wanted to just keep them off to the side. And as I did so, again, they cooked pretty fast, but um, I pulled them off pretty quickly. Didn't burn them. They taste great. They were just awesome. Everybody couldn't stop commenting how good the steaks were. Which was good for me because here again when you're cooking on a fire it's hot it's fast you got to move right along keep it going so we also did some carrots in a pouch and we did some onions in a pouch and inside those pouches you put quite a few cubes of butter so the butter will actually sit and percolate and cook all through your onion and vegetable vegetable and um they're delicious so Campfire cooking to me is fun. Maybe we make some mistakes along the way, but I learn and try and improve as I go and uh, over the years I have. But it still make mistakes, as you can well tell. I think life can be just one big mistake. Hopefully, you make it a happy one. So, enough lecturing on all the cooking, but I did enjoy it. We had fun. The weather was perfect. Uh, mostly in the 70s the whole time we were there for a week. Uh, really enjoyed ourselves. Great time. So looking forward to more of that, more camping, more cooking, more good eating. Um, my fried potatoes, I cooked those in my 14-inch skillet. We, we canola oiled them and uh, I put like garlic salt on, some pepper, uh, a little bit of that, uh, I'm not even sure what you call it, it's in the green can. Uh, you sprinkle some seasonings on. We put onion and green pepper in there and just let it cook, man. We put the lid on it, let it cook. And again, outstanding, outstanding potatoes. I think we had to do that uh, two mornings for breakfast because we enjoyed them so much. They were better than the store-bought uh, uh, O'Brien. So everybody kind of wanted those fried potatoes again. I said, hey, no problem, we'll do that. Whip them up, make it happen. So my wife there cooking her specialty fried eggs in her cast iron skillet, man oh man. That's living, people. So with that being said, I'm going to say adios to you and live your life carefully, would you? So you guys can return on the next one. So thanks for being here.